Friends and neighbors, welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machine. And live. Forever. Hey, buddy. Hi. I'm in the studio today. Um, video chatting in with the program here. You can do yeah. that too, viewers. Go to ydhwm.com and click on the video phone link. Yeah, I'm video chatting. You're in the you're in the real place. I'm in the other place. Oh yeah, that's true. It's uh. Yeah, it's uh, Saturday, <clears throat> and what a day! I'm alive. What a world. I'm sure it. you've already been talking about all the troubling things going on in the country and world right lately probably oh yeah i try to i try to say like wait for like five minutes to say that stuff oh sorry no, yeah i mean we can get right I into it i better let you get the show going here i'm gonna get right into it yeah we're going to <laughs> some war yeah maybe but we're so gonna find more out tomorrow i guess uh, locally anyway because a lot of people are saying there's gonna be more of that type stuff yeah. tomorrow that's the new we're gonna be like, hey, guess what I saw on TV? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. But you're watching TV right now, you know? That's maybe you already know. Maybe you're tired of hearing about it. I don't know. That for me, it made me less tired of it, and I've been looking at the news more than maybe I have in a long time. Oh, yeah. We're, we're living in history right now. Yeah. And uh, it's such a weird reversal that I'm very curious to see how everything... Um, you know what happens, I guess. Well, you're usually not curious to see how it happens. No, I mean most of the time, I'm uh, sort of living passively, just letting the world happen, doing my own thing. Um, I think, like, definitely during the Black Lives Matter protest, I was really in interested, and now it's, you know, this is sort of like the final episodes of the Trump presidency so it's it's really exciting to see how it's all going to come down is he going to get impeached um, sounds like they're not going to do the the 25th thing what is that called the amendment, amendment 25 Mike Pence doesn't want to kick a, him out a lot of amendments yeah it is I wonder how I wonder which is the latest amendment that's but the 25th seems pretty far back he doesn't want to do that Does Mike Pence don't want to do the 25th that's what I've heard. You know, at, at this point, I don't even know where I've heard what I've heard. I've just been looking at stuff and talking to people. So, but as far as I know, he's not going to do that. So telling you things, yeah. Um, I <laughs> the uh, yeah, it's kind of scary. I'm on on the news, they've been saying that like on the at, at the Capitol building that there's going to be like some like 700 army dudes. Or whatever, like guarding the place. Oh, really? And that's like my neighborhood, and where <laughs> right where I work. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, uh, on the news. Uh, wow. We're at the Capitol. I'm like, uh oh. You can get in the get in the news shot. I guess that's probably not when you want to be on TV. It's like the last time, last, the last area you'd ever want to be on TV. I guess. Yeah. But it's they came to you. So I'm just trying to, I hope I don't get exploded. Or yeah, that'd be good. Um, we'll see what happens. Well, how are you personally? I'm doing well. I, I've been doing my, kind of starting the landscaping and handyman type gig stuff, which has been um, pretty satisfying style of work, but that doesn't mean I'm now working more days a week than I usually am. The last couple of episodes of the program I've been at work while um, well, it's been taping, so it's been a little while since I've been able to be here, but I think, you know, personally things are going pretty good. Um, I don't know if it's personal, but like in terms of production and stuff, I've been pretty excited about some of the new stuff coming up for uh, the program probably know viewers we got a store now on the website uh and we got some merch and that's we've had merch before i think the last time we had actual merch was um 
episode 2000? Was it episode 2000 when we made shirts? Oh, 2000. I think that was when those shirts are from, the ones with the, the big circle and the, the logo. Yeah. I think that episode 2000 and we were at... Uh, McCoy, no, uh, Eastside Tavern and the, uh, what's the, what waste, Obsidian, remember, yeah, Obsidian. Oh, yeah, the Obsidian. I'm pretty sure that was episode 2000. What was it called before Obsidian? Uh. What was it after Obsidian? Wasn't it like. After Obsidian became, um, Octopus. Wasn't it something before it was Obsidian too that was like a rock and roll club or. Jezebels? Was it Jezebels? It was only Obsidian and then Octopus. Uh, I think Obsidian was the metal club, you know? Okay, yeah. I guess it was just the, switched to Octopus. It was like party time. Maybe it was something after, in between Octopus and Obsidian, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure it was Obsidian the whole time we were doing drawing club and things there. I don't know if Octopus is on Topus. Uh, to go. <laughs> I don't think they're using that place as a anything right now, other than they were doing some live stream concerts from there. Which is yeah. something I'm people doing are doing. Speaking of that, we've got a live stream concert coming up on the program. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say <laughs> something like... <laughs> You're going to say something like bad about live streaming concerts? <laughs> yeah, I knew. I knew you me that you're going to do this, but I was going to say that, um, that I have a feeling this one would be better than than that one. When I see, like, on TV, like, the bands, and the bands are wearing the masks. Oh, and yeah. Like, some of them, <laughs> there's, like, three mask guys, and one guy's playing, like, the uh, like the saxophone, or whatever, and just, like, <laughs> and then there's, like, obviously, like, camera people there. And so lots of it is in L.A., and oh, yeah. about half of the other talk shows, like, our comp competition talk shows, like, um, I think, like, Fallon, uh, Kimmel, and Colbert. Those are our, and me. Oh, wow. That means, I mean, if you look back in past episodes of the program, the, uh, your competition was some different people back then. Maybe, but before. It was, uh, Leno, right? Or, um, uh, I mean, Leno, Leno and Letterman were, like, only, a, I think... I don't think Leno was ever there. I think Fallon. Oh, started. Letterman. I'm thinking of Letterman. But he is—is he even doing that now? He's done. Years David ago. Letterman. Letterman. But um, now it's like. Oh, your mic. Your mic cut out there for oh, a second. Letterman ended like eight years ago. We beat him. Well. Long time ago. Yeah, but he started like 30 years before we did. Oh, so, all right. Hard to tell, but uh. Val, the big four on late night TV, Fallon, Kimmel, Colbert, and me. Yeah. <laughs> two, of, two of them went there. They like, they all went back to like the studio. And, like, Whoa. Missed. Your mic is cutting out again. I can't oh hear you. no! I gotta get a go look for a better XLR cable, huh? I got the wireless mic. Maybe that's what we should send you the wireless mic. Well. That's your mic. I gotta find the um, the a better XLR cable. It's working now, but it works until you least expect it, and then I gotta it I gotta hold off. it right. And if I don't do yeah. that, I should really just open it up. You know, about 11, 12 years ago, I took a class on how to fix XLR mics, and I've never. You took it or you taught it? Because I think you were teaching uh, it too. I, 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 I just never did it though. I never took my own advice. I wonder if those people who took the class and learned how to fix XLR cables. If any of them have fixed... I feel like I haven't fixed an XLR cable since that class we taught. <laughs> what I learned is that it's just easier to buy new ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or easier to have a fault, faulty mic for months. Right. Let's see. But, uh, so, 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 what are you saying about them? They, they went all, back to the studio. All, they went to the studio... Uh huh. But now two of them are back at home again. Really? Yikes. Yeah. So they went back. Uh, back that's just, I feel like that is always 
that's what's been happening a lot and it's worse than any other option is like going to do it and then going back that means that you've just like spread it around more that's like how yeah. the stuff gets spread around and then you go back and hide again so it's like back and forth like craziness somebody told me that there was maybe this happened in England or Britain or UK or somewhere or whatever hard to tell what to call it over there now but um, they let all the kids go to school for one day and then they realized it was a really bad idea and then they took them all back out of school but in the one day you know they're all in school spreading the disease around so now everyone's got you know all the kids got oh. the virus on that one day oh no you know and now they all brought it back home so I mean, for one day yeah only one day and then they stopped it so stupid. <laughs> yeah. Like, why, yeah, why would they send them in there at all? That's crazy. I still remember um, Mackerel. He's like, guys, relax. It's over. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. We got handled over here <laughs> in the UK. He's like, you gotta stop worrying so much, you know? You just gotta live your life and let it go. Yeah. I wonder where Mackerel is. He, he's a uh, um... I was looking through some old episodes of the beginning of quarantine just to kind of get some perspective, and um, he was in there. That was fun to talk to him. I bet this is a better time for him now, now that it's at 1 p.m. I wonder if he's watching this. He had some weird schedule, but, uh, Macro, are you out there? Not on the live stream. Nobody's on the live stream. Are we live? Mm, yeah. Nice. But nobody's there. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so two, Hello, YouTube. <laughs> two out of, uh, two out of four are, so two are still in the studio. Wait, who's in the studio? Well, only one, because I'm one of the four. And I never went back to the studio. You're in yeah. the studio. But, uh, Fallon in New York is the only one who is still at the studio. Um, there's still another one, too, but, uh. If all this money they've got, why don't they just build a home studio? And honestly, if well, they don't yeah. want to run all the equipment themselves, it seems like most of the stuff is robotic. You know, I feel like, you know how TCTV has got all the robot cameras and stuff? Oh, yeah. I'm surprised that they don't just have the ability to do it all remotely. Like, they do it. You, got, you got your cameraman, he's at his house. You got your host, they're in their house. And, like, I don't know what. They're doing it remotely, but there's just no audience to laugh that's like like on the show we tell them jokes and then it's just like then you wait and you're like i don't know when to laugh oh yeah but um somebody hold up the sign that says laugh now they got like the 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 uh the band like sometimes there's like the bands and they're doing the thing and i'm like why are you doing this like we giving up on the whole world or what but i guess i'm still doing this and trying to live a life. It's so weird. Oh, yeah. But what's that, going on with the band? With the band that reminds me again of the what I was about to say is yeah. um, we've got a band coming on the show. <laughs> we haven't given up on life. We're going to go for it. it. Um, it's it's actually someone who lives in my house. So Okay, uh, yeah. It's like a solo act, right? Solo act. Oh, good. We're I probably like not going to be wearing masks because we already just live together. Yeah. Um, I like and this, it's, that it's a solo Ah. Yeah, solo. It's called Ghost Bitch, and oh. we've—I think we were—we've—we've we've almost done videos with them before, um, but it's—it's it's really awesome stuff. It's yeah. solo guitar, but they've got some drum machine things, and well, you should do—you um, it. should do it then. From your, I should zoom or uh, Google in or whatever. Yeah, either way, I'm gonna be recording the audio and video separately on our side, just in case. Yeah. Like, probably, maybe we could do, yeah, I guess that makes sense to, to just zoom you in. I just want to make sure that the audio com comes out good, and that's always the challenge. And it would be it's going to be the first time I've tried it on my side. But I guess if we record the audio to a tape on my side, if it doesn't sound great on the live stream, we can just always re-upload. But yeah. it should be pretty cool. Well, I think so. you, I'm, I've been re-uploading every day anyway. Yeah, exactly. So you should do that, or you could even you could do a, definitely uh, for fun or whatever. Have a rehearsal sound check. That's there. a good idea. 
Yeah. Probably will as it gets closer to the day. That, cause... You could even you could even pre-tape. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's true. Like, I think we're, you know, it's fun to do it live because there's more chances for problems, which is fun to have issues. But I think it'll be fine. It's, uh, I don't know that they play a very long set anyway, so, uh, but I thought it'd be cool. So I've been wanting to get this happening for a while and it's going to happen. We're doing it on the 22nd yeah. of January. Well, I which, was thinking, uh, do you got a calendar yet or did you still not I get did a calendar? Get a calendar um, thanks to Crescent. Oh, really? Nice. And, uh, what's the, what kind of calendar is it? Huh? What kind of calendar is it? It's, uh, animals. Oh, this there you month. go. This month Look is, at those I guess, baby animals. What, foxes? Oh, yeah, that's not a baby animal. That's a regular-sized animal. Regular nice. A fox, and then the days... Today Foxes is, gets placed um, to write stuff in. Yeah, well, you can write in on the... Uh, January 22nd, Ghost Bitch. And then, uh... <laughs> my favorite holiday. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's well, we'll see how it works out. I kind of like having, you know, it's nice to have musical people. I think it adds an element of... I mean, it's honestly a slight element of chaos, where it's like we're doing stuff that's not intended on the program, and so we have to change a bunch of things. I figured out the spreadsheet myself and got the numbers, I believe. So hopefully the spreadsheet is ah, accurate. Yeah, that, I mean, I, I think if anything's accurate, it's the spreadsheet. Um, Things are falling on me. It's by the numbers, you know. It starts, I started it on uh, um, the 10th or the 19th of 2010 in September and Basically, just dragged it all the way down the rest of the way with the yeah. numbers. And it's doing it with the. It knows it, it like does the math for you, right? Yeah, it does the math for you. It's been a lot of fun this year with the spreadsheet. I mean, this is. I know that there's a lot of people out there who are just waiting for me to talk about the spreadsheet, but um, um, uh, it is. It's been a really good time with it this year. This year's been a really made some big strides on the spreadsheet. We got one. You can look. You can go right to the spreadsheet from the ydhwm.com too there's a link right to it and it shows you the episodes from this same day in the previous year is all listed out together so you can the uh you can click on any year of this day and that took some cool some crazy stuff like all the records we've been making over the last uh 10 or 11 years all culminating together and then like doing some weird formula math to make it show up on different pages um, it's it's cool. I, I'm about to maybe start doing my own budget for my own finances because now I've got like more spreadsheet knowledge than I used to have, and I want to mm -hmm. use it. I've got to do some stuff with the spreadsheets. Did you get a new client? No, I'm still just got the one landscaping and handyman client, and I, I keep saying landscaping and handyman because it's a lot of it's a lot of handyman stuff. I got a lot of uh, you know yard stuff to do. Uh -huh. But just about every time there's something in the house or on the house that needs fixing, and um, she asks if I can fix that, and then I fix it. What's that? What have you done? I've, you know, cleaned the gutters and blown the leaves off the roof. I have, uh, you know, have you ever had a like a shower head that it's got stuff in the filter? I basically took apart the shower head and cleaned out the filter so that the shower was uh, had good water pressure. You know the thing in the faucet where you pull up the you pull up the thing to open and close the drain stopper on a sink. Yeah. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Like it's on the the back of the faucet, like the little pluggy deal. Yeah, yeah, that had come that had come detached and it wasn't doing anything, and so I fixed that and got it working again. How do you um, uh, take the whole thing out and then look in there and then pull it up and then it's like a screw with like threads on it? It was a new one. I'd never seen this before. It it had like a little bolt connected to a plastic piece that attached and it just kind of tensioned down on the little part that's behind the sink, behind the faucet. And then that goes down to, of course, there's usually this big metal lever that's uh, down further on the drain and it slipped in to connect there. So it was not, not a difficult fix, but you really had to climb up inside under the sink. So, 
Um, things like that. Little you things. You had to figure it out. You didn't know what it was. You had to look at it and... Yep. Which is cool. I feel like it's... Yeah, it's it's just right up my alley. It's what I like to do, so... But you're figure out how to fix the things. And even now, I've been trying to get all the leaves out of the underbrush, and the last time I was over there, I was just raking them out, and that was taking a long time. And, you know, I am by the hour, but I'm also this person. I like this person. I don't want to take forever on a job when you could do it faster. And I think I figured out how to do it faster, maybe just like blow all the leaves out with a leaf blower, because everything that that needs to stay is literally growing out of the ground and everything that needs to go is just like sitting on top. So I think it'd be like the ideal leaf blower situation. So blow them all out and then rake them up after that. So it's not leaves. It's leaves. Yeah, it oh, leaves. Well right in the name then yeah oh yeah leaf blower that's right should have thought of that first but um it'll be good so i'm having fun with that it's and you know i'm not sure when i'm gonna get another client i guess i could i figure everything so far has happened really organically and just kind of has happened and i like letting things just happen and riding riding the wave of life I feel like that's how it's yeah that's a good way to go your mic is cutting out again uh oh uh i don't know i don't know how much of the program has been silent recently i should get headphones um i don't think i said this but you can call there three six zero three six four three eight four and then you could leave a message get on tv we'll see if anybody left a message today I'm going to think maybe... Oh, yep. You got a message? We got two messages. Wow, <laughs> that's from, exciting. From Jean and Yellowfellow. Maybe Jean found her phone. Oh, what is that? Feedback? Yeah, this is from 2011 on this same day. We're doing crazy feedback and lights? Yeah, guess who's on the show? It's Sean Downey. Wow. Here's this message. Let me hear it. Loading, 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 loading. Um. Yep. Okay. Come on. Hello, wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles. I found my phone. Congratulations, Jean. My parents' car. And so don't call my mother's number. Don't call me tonight either. I'm tired and I'm gonna go to sleep. Well, uh, talk to you from yesterday, huh? Goodbye. Uh, yeah. I'm calling you now in the daytime. Seems like it'd probably be a good time to call Jean right now. Yeah. Has she been getting on the? Oh, uh, she lost her phone, so that, the answer's probably no. Uh, I think she hasn't been on the program about a week. You liking the early time slot lately? Is that working out for you? Yeah, I think I might, my, it's kind of weird though, at night, I don't have things to do, I gotta figure out things to do. Hello. Hello. Hi, Gene. Hi. Hi, it's Program on TV, how are you? I'm good. I'm doing a puzzle. What kind of puzzle? Ooh. Have you figured out what's on the puzzle yet? Oh, I have the box here. Oh. So it's a jigsaw puzzle. Mm. Yeah. I'm losing my light though. And it's hard. It's the biggest puzzle I've ever done. It's a thousand pieces. Ooh. Oh. Thousand? I don't know. Well, what's uh, what's the picture you're making on the puzzle? What? What's the picture? Oh, it's a New Yorker cover of, like, uh, the Lower East Side, covered by Marcellus Hall. I don't know. It came from my... Because my sister-in-law and brother who live in Brooklyn, I think they're going to try to give to my mother, but she doesn't take them unless they're 500 or less. So I've taken it. I'm going to do it, I think. 500-piece but... limit. Ooh. What? 500-piece limit. That's right. That's what my mother had. She's an older, wiser woman. They're doing it for the fun of it, not for the challenge then. Yeah, I think that's right. 
I'm, I'm just going to take it easy. Going to put in my time. Uh, and it, it's like one of the few things... I don't have a thing in my car so I can listen to podcasts or whatever. So it's one of the few things that I don't need enough. There's so much uh, attention that I can't listen to it and do it. Well, I don't know if that was clear. You're doing this puzzle in your car? Is that what you said? No, no. I was listening to like a long YouTube lecture. And those are the type of things that I don't do in my car. Because I don't right. have oh, loud enough. Oh, I see. So you're not in your car, so you're listening to a lecture and doing a puzzle. That's right. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm-hmm. Yep. How many pieces is the puzzle? One thousand. I already said that. Oh. How, how far? <laughs> have you got the edges yet? <laughs> what? Have you got the edges, edges yet? You know, I have done the edges, and now I'm working on the top with all the writing. And I think it's going to come together, but uh, the I don't says, have maybe you need the right her. angle. Like, I should twist it, but then I'll have to hunch more. Anyway. Do you like New York? Take it, take it, look it as it comes. What? you like New York? I really do. Yeah. I think it's magical. Wow. I think it's a really cool place. Yeah, you spent a lot of time there this year. Uh, yeah, three and a half months. Of course, nothing this, was happening there, <laughs> other than hiding, but... Have you been to the specific spot that's in the puzzle? I don't think so. It's sort of like a open street, people just doing their thing. Yeah, lots of different people looking different, eating, chatting, skateboarding, playing in the water. Just a general gist. Nice. You, yep. What's you, going on over um, there? Uh, Freddy's there? We're, we're, I don't know. I don't know. What's going <laughs> on. <laughs> um, you found your phone. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. It's so, it's so shameful how, like, how hard it is when you lost your phone. I'm just so ashamed at how addicted I am to my phone. And well, you didn't find it freeing at all? That's what I usually, whenever I lose my phone, I'm a little relieved. <laughs> I did for a little while, but then I just felt sad. Yeah. Uh, there's no internet at my house without it, so then it's just quiet. Oh. And then, yeah, so you don't even have any media, because you, you don't have, like, videos, huh? Right, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I, and I borrowed my parents' phone a little bit, but I couldn't really use it for lots of internet because they kept getting charged more <laughs> for oh. their data use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those phones are so crazy. I, I haven't been taking my phone out with me because I'm not going anywhere other than just my dropping back, but, like... Like, I'm not having the phones, and I don't know if I'm, I might not have the phone anymore. I'm thinking. Cool. Leaving it at home in the future. Uh, yeah. People are on the phone so much. I saw, I saw this, this weird thing on the news where somebody attacked um, another person over their phone. It was, I mean, I guess it was maybe racist on the, on the thing, but what I took from it was that somebody was so attached to their phone that they freaked out. Like... That they had like lost their yeah. phone and they saw somebody else with the phone that they had like the same model of phone or something and then they started like uh, hitting them and they're like give me my phone well wow. maybe yeah. it was racist but i think it was more it was probably a little bit racist a little bit of everything it was also yeah. it was if, like, I, if i'm thinking of the same event which i think i am she was 22 and the kid was 16 and she kept calling him a guy and calling herself a girl like trying to mm -hmm. make their like she was making him sound older than he was and making herself sound younger than she was. Like, Oh, that's weird. It was an adult beating up an underage kid for uh, a phone. It was like phone panic. Also racial which, stuff, too. But. The freaky thing to me, I mean, all that racial stuff is, you know, the, <laughs> weaved into the fabric of, of, of society, so I'm not so surprised at that. Um, it's like another one of these things. But the phone panic thing is kind of like, Oh my god, I think you have phone panic. Like, maybe they wouldn't have been 
it like triggered the racism. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's so personal. Like all your little things are on there. Yeah. Like I didn't want to like listen to my mom's podcast. That would disturb them, you know. Or add my own. That's weird. It, yeah. It's just. It's really. It is. They've got us. They've got us. Or they've got me. They don't have you, Kenny. It's disturbing. But they've got me in their claws, and and I always know it, and I always like wish it weren't true, and think, oh, I, I'm gonna have a place in my house where I just drop my phone when I get here, and I'm yeah. gonna not. Be and then I feel like, oh, I'll just do a little indulging, just a little bit, and then I'm back at it. Forever. It did get me though a little bit. I I make a conscious <laughs> conscious decisions to leave my phone in the other room. Yeah. It's okay. good to build that sort of self, uh, what do you call that, self-control, I guess, because you need it. I, I do believe that the people who are making cell phone apps and especially like cell phone video games and maybe the social media platforms, I think they specifically are making them with addictive properties involved, yeah. you know? And oh, yeah. They're, they're I know, but we've known that for, I've known that for 15 years, and yeah. I still they, let it they got, the, me. they got the watch. And the, the, the earbud, or what, so then you're just like, uh, beep, beep, oh, 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 like all the time. Yeah, you're all, you're like tapped in. You got the like, it's almost like the Matrix where they've got, you know, put it right into your spinal cord. Yeah, I feel like an old person, but I, I work with a lot of kids and kids are always getting in trouble oh. because <laughs> they are, they cannot put down the phone. Yeah. Mm. They're, like, they're like, don't use mm -hmm. the phone while you're doing this thing and then they like sneak off people sneak off to get and you go to like hey what are you doing they're like, oh, they get caught, like they're sneaking off to get on the phone it's like you really can't be on the phone I don't, and I always I'm, I'm wondering what they're even doing on the phone that's so important they're like I gotta check mm -hmm. the feed ah oh, or like I'm bored yeah. I'm bored I guess there's always something going on on the phone but it's yeah. I don't like you know I don't want to see anyone on their phone at, like if I go into a place, I don't want to see them on their phone. I guess. And that's that's part of the program thing where where they I say like don't get, don't look at Google. Yeah. Even though I, I have know. a computer yeah. going, but like I admire that. It's not it's not it's like half half of it is because of conversation ruining and stuff, but another half mm -hmm. of it is just like don't. Don't use your phone for a little bit. Like, you're here. Yeah. So like, don't look at the phone. If you think about yeah. other kinds of shows, like, well, like maybe a, a game show where you're asking they a question. Phone sometimes now. I've seen it. What? Like, no. Player. You're like, they're on, uh, they're like, on, who wants yeah. to be a millionaire and they, like, get their phone out. Well, not on game shows, Google. but on, like, talk shows. But they, I've seen the, where the guest is like, oh, look at this app on my phone. They pull their phone. Whoa. Yeah, that's awful. <laughs> That should not be okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. Gene, I think that, oh, I was listening to a podcast, you know, on my phone. Again, it was the second time, because it was my mom that I was re-listening. <laughs> uh, but it was, you know, on the Hidden Brain, I like that guy. And then he talks about how uh, oh, our decisions, like, to be, like, uh, like, a good athlete or eat right. It's not people who have good willpower that are able to do that. There are people who have been able to develop a habit. And part of the habit making is that it's on autopilot and you're not thinking about it. You just That's true. It. So that's what they sort of bypass. I feel like with the phone, uh, we don't notice that they have, like, taken all of our decisions away. We're just thinking. We're just uh, I feel going on. Yeah, it takes willpower to start a habit, but once you have the habit, then it's easy to continue. But yeah. starting a habit is hard, I guess, unless it's got stuff that automatically feeds back into, you know, with the phones, there's all these things that are causing you to get happy brain chemicals whenever, like, they're, they're yeah. making you build a habit by giving your brain, like, chemical stuff. Yeah. And as, mm -hmm. as far as the diet... And it's human stuff. contact. They shake that human contact, or, you know, like... I look at my phone because I, I might have text a per, texted a person or I'm, like, hoping for some kind of contact from a person, yeah. you know? So it's my real life is 
front because I'm looking at this false light, hoping for someone out there to pay attention and talk, talk to me. Um, Don't tell. <laughs> yeah, with the, with the whole diet thing, I remember like a couple of weeks ago, my brother told me a story from his work where he, his, one of his co-workers ate two cans of Pringles on their break. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And I was like, that is, I wouldn't even be able to do that if I tried. No. So you get into it, and then eventually you're just doing that thing. Hey, Gene, can you get on the, the meat? I can. Because I want to yep. make another call. I'm going to listen to this next message. You want to do that? Sure. Okay, sure. I'm going to hang up on the phone. Okay, goodbye. Well, see ya, okay. Gene's gonna get on the meat, on the phone. Oh, you're over yourself in the back? Yep, look at me. What are we doing? Shaking stuff. You got a green hat. I got this hat from the internet. Oh, that's you nice. Know? I can't really tell the color. Yeah, it's, it's a blue? A discriminant color on TV. It's like a gray color, purple cover. Oh, hello. hello. Gray purple, yeah. Uh. I am going to get a haircut today. Where at a place? What? I guess he got the he had the virus, which is kind of like the um, getting immune, but temporarily. Still. I've heard that doesn't last. People have been getting it twice. Plus, it mod it, it modifies itself. Your mic, maybe oh. your mic's not working. I yeah. I've been cutting my own hair. Oh yeah, see, you don't need a barber. Yeah. Looks like a nice clean cut. And it sticks, the hat sticks to my head because it's maybe Velcro. Kind of Velcro <laughs> you got, you, yeah, it's dual purpose. Where's Gene? Yellow fellow. Hello. Hello. Please leave your oh. message for John Mooney. John Mooney. Yo, yeah, folks, the program, you can call us back. You have about 25 minutes. Uh, you're going to get a mullet. You're going to get a mohawk. You're going to get the Caesar. You're going to get a uh, chomuggy. Uh... Uh, what else? What kind of buzz, flat top, afro, uh, bald head, sideburns only, like half your head is shaved and half your head is re like Skrillex haircut, like reverse Freddy. mohawk. Your reverse, my reverse mohawk. Does Freddy, you have the Skrillex haircut in that video down there? I mean, you kind of had that. Yeah, pretty much. Sides shaved with the long front or something. Side. Oh yeah, maybe like get like the misfits like. Uh, That's a good one, yeah. Yeah, the dread. What I forgot what they call that dread. Dreadnought. Gonna yeah, go, get, go get some dreads. Yeah, get dreadlocks. Your, get dreadlocks. I don't think you have enough hair for most of this stuff. Pigtails, ponytails, bouffant, uh, beehive, beehive haircut. Oh, you can, Ooh, yeah. Get a weave, yellow fellow. You get a weave. Get that Karen, that weird Karen haircut. Oh, yellow fellow don't like the word Karen. Hey, Gene. Hello. What are, what are some haircuts? Hairstyles, names. A pixie, a pixie cut. Yeah, you're going to get a pixie cut, y'all, fellow? Yeah. A bob. Get a bob. <laughs> bob. Bob. Bowl cut. Oh, yeah. Get a bowl cut. All right, those are some options, y'all, fellow. Okay, oh. bye. Y'all, fellow is getting a haircut. I told him to get a bouffant. Beehive, you got some. Beehive, uh, you got Red some. Uh, look. Yeah, beehive one Christmas. Gene, you have a you have a uh, hair look right now. I don't know if you did that on purpose, but oh it, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. A little <laughs> you, top bun, top bun, and like a side outside thing. We were just talking about otherwise. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's been it's been a little light today. A little bit more than usual. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh no, I was thinking about that, like the... the I like to wear... Yes. I was thinking about the Karen haircut, you know, like the... 
Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Like... I don't know yet. It's like... I only know about... I don't know enough of these things. It's yeah, like... It's sort of like the, I'd like to see your manager haircut, right? Yeah. But I don't even know how they do that haircut. It's a really weird one. I wonder if they got, like, they got, like, the bump. Have you seen the bump? The hair product, the bump? Oh. No, what is that? Like is the, it oh. some sort of a gel? It's like, you just, like, get the, like... You put like a piece of plastic, the people put their plastic on their head and then they wrap it around so it looks like it's your own hair, but there's a big chunk of plastic in there too. Well, yeah, that's sort of like a modern beehive then, huh? Because I think cool. the beehive a lot of times had some sort of a, like, you know, assisting like a plastic Like a bee. vase in there or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. Some sort of structure, like a tin I like can. That. I I feel like when your hair looks bigger, then your head looks smaller, which might mean, like, more, I don't know. Then you're, pe- like, then you're like a petite person, uh, you're like, I have a small head, look at my yeah, tiny head. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah. Can we see a puzzle, Gene? What do you got working on there? How's it coming along? Yeah, so this is what it's going to look like. Da, da, da. Oh, I see. So it's not actually... Um, I thought when you said it was South End, I thought it was maybe more of a cityscape. This is sort of just like a... People. It's like the community in the city. The co- yeah. yeah. Community in the city. Yeah, everyone's doing their thing outside, which is, of course, what they did this summer because a lot of the streets were closed so yeah. that more pe- people could walk and have space outside, but it's big here is... Puzzles. Seems challenging, the white areas seem challenging. I know, lots of different, uh, yeah, lots of like different little things with lots of space. Yeah. Uh, different colors in it. So yeah, I have, I have turned them all, or many of them over, and I have them, but then I, I have other ones that are not turned over. But I think I have all the ones with the, with the black writing on it. Woo! But it Woo. is getting dark. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's... I see bird back what is there. It, like, 5 o'clock? When's bird ba- gonna have a baby? Uh... Not for a while, I think. Month. Oh. Month. Got the, the dog babies. Yeah, but, but you don't know, birds, uh... Yeah, they are. Really different. <laughs> bird's having the baby, too. I don't know if you can... Wait, he is? Yeah, you don't know about this? I forgot. If I knew, I forgot. Oh, they say I don't know. Can you say Bert? They, sometimes they say that he that the the man is pregnant, even though he's like he's having a baby, or like the the you know he's not having a baby, but they say he's pregnant. He's like we're pregnant. Yeah, we're pregnant. Right. We're... So yeah, really weird <laughs> phrasing. Yeah. So he's he's kind of pregnant in a way. If wow! You, you say like oh that. my gosh, a little bird, a little bird baby. Little bird. That's what I told him. He should name that kid, no matter what the kid's name is, Bird. He should name the kid Bird. Or Robin. Oh yeah, yeah Robin. Oh, Robin. Robin. Uh, that's a or really sparrow. Or Crow. What if? Oh, I knew someone named Crow. I think Crow's mm-hmm. a good name. But I, just, um, I think whatever yeah. I told him, whatever, whatever that kid, whatever the kid's actual name is, I'm gonna call that kid Baby Bird. Yeah. Either way. This, this is my child, Squad J. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, yeah, Jay's a good one. If you call the kid Jay, that's a, a, a bird name, but it's not um, a Robin or Jay. Because if you name your kid Crow, then it's like obviously a bird name. But Robin or Jay or, uh, yeah, two More subtle that way. Parrot. I really like yeah. Robin. My cousin is named Robin. This is and my child, a great Penguin. Name. Chicken. <laughs> chicken, yeah. <laughs> chick. Hmm. Good. Check this out. Behind me now, we got the, um, the, the food, the cook-off. Oh, wow. Remember the cook-off? Jackson? Cook-off at TCTV. Mark, John Blair, all up messages. Lots of stuff that going that? on phones. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Like a cooking competition or something? Do we have, oh. must have a band? Who's this band? Yeah, who, who's the band and who's that guy? I don't know. I wait, thought... wait, maybe it's like...
Blood Orphans or no? I thought Who's I saw this? Jackson. Can you skip around? Yeah, I can. Jackson's there. Carl's there. I skipped in a little further. It, it was Jackson with like a bowl cut? Yeah. Let's see, Jackson. What year was this? <laughs> Uh, this yeah, year, what year was 2015. Oh, wow. Seems like just yesterday we started doing all these weird themed shows like the cook-off and everything. Well, <laughs> my sister's there too, and Carl. Wow. Whoa. The food thing, I remember, went off pretty well. It was a good amount of food, like more than I thought it would be. I was kind of surprised because I thought it would be no food, I think. Oh, I remember it was like Witch, the Witch Band. Remember the Witch Band that caused some controversy at TCTV because they had oh, fire? Oh, yeah, I do. I'm pretty sure it's the Witch Band. They, they had a fog fire? machine or... or did they have they had candles, huh? That they had was? candles, but that that was enough to um that was enough to cause the controversy. That's from this day in twenty fifteen. You know, Check like, that out it's on like, that. It's like thing. kinda of wild to me. Yeah. I guess these, these problems still exist, but that like those small these small problems that the world could have before the world was uh crumbling. 100% problems, yeah. Yeah. We're like, oh, don't do that. Like, yeah. All right, here we're going to record Message of the Future. Okay. Hey, okay. Future Test the Past. Hello, past? Future. Shoot, I, I, always, I don't never pay enough attention. <laughs> Hello, He's working on a puzzle. wherever you are, wherever you are. What hairstyles yellow fellow gonna get? I don't know. We got a lot of hairstyles to choose from. Yeah, we uh, are having a musical guest. We're talking about the world and Gene's phone on the phone. Baby bird name. Baby Yay! Bird. Back, sure. Yeah. I'm gonna get. Mm. I've been thinking about get. I wanna get a dog and name it John. Na name the dog John. I, I, I always talk to the dog at my house. Yeah. And his dog's name is Kiki, so mm -hmm. I was just I'm going, Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. I think that's what I say the most outside of the program. Like, I don't say that much outside of the program. You've got a, a, one whole hour of words nonstop, and yeah. then it's for Kiki after that. Yeah, and almost <laughs> no words after. Kiki. Oh, it's Kiki, Kiki. It's sort of like reverse Pokemon rules, because, you know, you, the dog can't really understand you, but it knows yeah. its name, so, like, everything you say to the dog is its own name. Yeah. And I, even, like, you just change your intonation to change what it means, I guess. Yeah. Maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe if you keep saying the dog's own name to it, it will not even know that you're talking to it, because that's all you ever say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ruining... Like the dog, not like the dog is, uh, knows. I don't know if maybe the dog. I don't know if this dog knows any tricks. I'll have to ask. But uh. Um. If someone were to be cooking drumsticks, what uh, temperature do you think you would cook them at? Four hundred. Four hundred. For how long? Are they raw? Four hundred. Just yeah. Like, they like, look like, like this. Thought, thought, are they They're frozen? Not. They're thawed. Yes. Um, That's odd. They uh, never were frozen. Or I always maybe cook frozen. Really I cook frozen chicken. Um, from frozen, I cook it for about an yeah. hour. Well, you just don't even thaw it out. You just cook it straight. Frozen. Yeah, frozen. I just put frozen chicken on the thing, and then I well, will you okay? Here is my frozen chicken recipe. I have like a bag of frozen chicken. I put it on the. I just take the thing out, and then first I just throw it like raw or the just straight from the freezer. Nothing. No seasonings. Nothing. Pan, 400. I don't even um, uh, preheat the oven. This is my own little. Uh, what? No preheat the oven even? This is my uh, like like I don't care. I want to eat chicken quickly recipe <laughs> or whatever. Okay, so I just throw it in there, throw it in the oven, turn the oven on to 400, and then I wait 20 minutes and then I pull it out because then it's like a little bit thawed so that it can get the seasoning stuck to it. Oh. Because I think if I, at first, if I put the seasonings on there, it'll fall right off because it's all frozen. So then I pull it off for 20 minutes, a little thawed. I put spices on there, you know, whatever spices I feel like. Uh, but, but, uh, you do what? 
I, you know, I got definitely got salt, pepper, um, and then I either, you know, go like garlic and onion, or sometimes I go taj tahin. Like, mm. yeah. Uh, MSG. I like MSG on there, and then I put it back in there for another forty minutes. I like that rosemary on the chicken. That's the that I like. Rosemary. Huh? Wait, how, wait, what was that? Sorry. Rosemary. That's a nice, uh, nice spice to add to a chicken. Rosemary. So if someone does not have um, frozen chicken, and in fact they're drumsticks, so they're not that big or thick. Yeah. How long? You can say 400 for 30 minutes, and then just check it. 400 for 30 minutes? I don't know. This is something that I would actually use yeah. the internet for. Oh, Instead yeah. Of, uh, like, uh, just asking questions. It's not written on the on the bag? Does it say on the bag? No. It says cook thoroughly. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good advice, though. It's so, really good advice. Do that. You want to be thorough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just for legal mm -hmm. reasons. Huh. I mean, I think if you put it at 400 and cook it for half an hour, you're pretty good, you know? Half an hour seems a little... Mm -hmm. Is it short? I don't um, know. I mean, if you preheat the oven and then oh, yeah. it's already at 400... And drumsticks are so little fat. Or... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like meat yeah. on them, really. I'm cooking like a, a whole breast. In there, so I'm gonna try this frozen chicken way because that seems nice. I the main, my main issue with uh, cooking chicken mostly has to do with the whole thawing process, which oh, you, know, you know everyone's got different ways of thawing, but you're really not supposed to do the the like you're supposed to thaw it either in the fridge or in cold water. And I use the microwave. It's always kind of a hassle. It usually turns out really good, but I usually am not using the oven at all. I usually pan fry it on the on a skillet on the stove with all mm. the stuff. I always just usually like, I chop it up, you know, like thaw it, chop it, and yeah. then. Yeah. Oven's easier. It takes longer, but it's you don't have to sit there for it. I do have a bunch of frozen chicken in the freezer that I'm just like, ah, it's gonna be a pain to freeze it. Do you end up with water in the pan? Yeah. Like, is it watery, no. or does water just boil off? Yeah, I don't but know. Why don't you just put it in the fridge? What? Put it in the fridge? Well, cause yeah. who knows? Maybe I'll I'll forget it or. Do I, do I really want to, like, the fridge actually takes, like, six hours to thaw the chicken. And I, usually I, uh... Yeah, I would do it Yeah, I, I eat a lot of frozen, the same day. I eat a I'm lot of frozen very... meat, and I always put it in there the day before. Like, put it in the yeah. fridge the day before. Like, I, I, not with the chicken. With the chicken, I put it directly in there, but I eat a lot of ground beef. Yeah. And with the ground beef, I put it, put it in the fridge before I, the, like, the next day I'm going to eat it. I'm usually not thinking that far ahead, which is why I end up getting takeout a lot, I guess. Yeah. I haven't been eating any takeout at all. I've had, I have this, like, ground beef you... thawing system down packed. I ate ground beef today. I get, um, I sometimes have too many thawed meats in the fridge. So then the pressure builds, and you're like, you gotta cook, you gotta cook, you gotta cook it! See, yeah, I don't want that pressure. Really yeah, but just throw that chicken in the oven. You don't even need to do anything else. Hmm. What kind of what kind of cuts of chicken do you got, Freddy? Me? Just chicken breast. Yes, yeah, chicken breast. Skinless, boneless. That's what I have. Yeah, skinless, boneless oh, chicken breast. Oh, you can breast. follow my recipe like right to the T. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try that tonight. Yeah. Store, you put it in there, and then uh, you know good, another good thing, Elsa, if the, What's in, that? the in the like uh, like you know just throw some vegetables on that baking sheet too. Oh wow! Like, so you let your chicken cook for a while, and then you want to cook your vegetables for like you know half an hour, twenty minutes, or whatever. Throw it in there with it at the end. That sounds good. Yeah, because wait, uh, my question was about the you know some of the stuff I've got frozen has been frozen for a long time, so it's got lots of. Um, like it's it's maybe I'm I'm worried that it's gonna get a lot of water in the, on the pan. Is it? Is, I, is it just, that's never even I've never even thought about that before. It doesn't happen then. It's probably. just not an issue. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Not that much liquid. Gene, in there. what time is it there? Are you? Get, is it dark outside? It looks dark outside. Are you cooking dinner? 
Yeah. Yeah, it's five. I'm hungry. I what? maybe just had a PB and J for lunch. What's for dinner? Look, my potato uh, is like hard. Oh, it looks like an shaped. apple, even, or maybe. And then it has an eye on the top here. A weird little yeah, thing looks like starting an, to grow. Looks like an apple. Mm -hmm. Here's another potato. Wonderful. Ah, uh, the classic potato shape. That one. Growing, growing, because life finds a way. You know, when they when they start growing, does that mean that they're not good to eat? I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna cut those out, and I'm gonna put it underneath my chicken, like you suggested. Yeah, that's a good one too. You put the on the bottom. Um, I'm gonna yeah. call my grandma. We only got about five minutes left. Okay. Oh, and we gotta record a message of the future too, right? Or no, we already did that. Hi, Grandma. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. How are you feeling? You feel, you, have you been eating? Yeah. You did eat? I'm so tired. Yeah, did you get out of Just bed? Just Have you been getting out of bed? Yeah. You have? Just a minute. You told me to end it right here. Okay. You talk. Can you? When you did talk. you wake up? Yeah, you talk. How's yeah. She, she doesn't like on the phone, Andrew. Fine. She's going to yell at you if you tell her to talk. <laughs> How, how's she doing, though? I tried to talk to her. She didn't really want to answer me. Fine. She get out of bed? Yeah. She's not vomit? Nope. All right. I made chicken eggs. Is she drinking coffee? No. I know she used to drink coffee every day. She used to drink coffee. She stopped drinking coffee. Yeah, maybe maybe oh. she should you should get her some coffee. Have her wake up a little bit. Doesn't have a schedule. Yeah, coffee is fun though. Yeah. Get her some coffee. <laughs> have her run around. Coffee is like a schedule maker. It helps you schedule things. Yeah, but she was um. Oh, I'm eating Far East back then, and that hat. Yeah, I never did find that hat. I don't know where it is. I looked in my house. You look around there. It's like I had to buy this other hat. I had that hat for years, but I don't know where it is. And that jacket, I think, is might be in the studio, oh. too. But, uh, it, it gives Grandma some coffee. I have her run around the house a little bit. What are you doing? Uh, drug Grandma? Drug her with coffee. And marijuana? Yeah, probably. That wouldn't hurt. You got some. You can put in the coffee. Put a little marijuana in the coffee. <laughs> uh, What's this? Just coffee. See what happens. Yeah. Um. What? I think I, I'm trying to think of like you know in that uh the the soil or no reefer madness. You know that movie reefer madness. I think they start eating each other. You know. Oh yeah, that's the that's the wow. logical conclusion to smoking and weed. <laughs> yeah. Cannibalism, eventual cannibalism. <laughs> like Reefer Madness. You ever see that movie Reefer Madness? That's how hungry you get. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm so hungry not. I could eat. <laughs> I'm Ew. so hungry that I'm gonna <laughs> skip the food that's around me. <laughs> what are you doing, Andrew? Nothing. What are you doing? Talking to Gene and Freddy. You were you watching TV? Yeah. Yeah. What's on TV? YouTube. Hey, have you heard of uh, Thundercat? He's a bass player, right? Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of him. He's a good, good bass player. Yeah, I think I saw him. You know that show? I watched that show, Hot Ones. Yeah. I don't. I only know about. Like one out of five people on there, uh -huh. and then the other four are just people who are eating hot wings. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Just that's random, that guy. I'm like, oh, that guy eating hot wings. That guy, I seen that guy eat hot wings before. <laughs> that was the first. <laughs> that was the first time I, I saw him. Apparently, he's a really cool guy. He seems cool on the show. Uh, 
I, I watched some of his... Uh, you ever watch those tiny concerts on NPR? I've seen them a little bit. It, this, this whole thing reminds me a little bit of like when n little Nos X came out of the closet. Okay. And I didn't know who he was. So, and I saw on like, you know, the, the news or whatever, Lil Nas X is gay. And I thought, <laughs> and I, the, 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 the headline to me could have been, Lil Nas X exists. <laughs> I was like, oh, Lil Nas We've X just exists. Huh? He exists. He's a person, huh? I don't know. Like, so, because I had not heard of him before He's that. Gay. He's gay? <laughs> yeah, I think. I think it's him, right? I don't want to say, I guess I don't want to say the wrong person. I'm pretty sure it was Lil Nas X, right? He, he took the old town road to Gay Town? <laughs> yeah, he took it to Gay Town. Um, but, uh, <laughs> it's a nice place. It's a nice town. Um, they, but, uh, yeah, so then I was like, oh, who is that? He exists. And then this guy, the Thundercat guy, I don't know her, never heard of him. Oh. Oh, show's over. Show's over? No. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Goodbye. Dude, this horrible. Yeah, well, well. That was good. We'll be Gene, back tomorrow at 5 o'clock, Gene. going to have Gene. some nice food after this. Cooking a chicken. Yeah, Thanks. put it in the thing. 5 o'clock. All right, bye. Yeah. I'm going to run the credits. How much? What, what time is the show tomorrow, Kenny? 5 o'clock. Five o'clock oh. Sunday. Eight forty-five on Monday, and probably one o'clock uh, the rest of the week if I make it. I wake up. One o'clock. One o'clock. Okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, unless I. I'm um, gonna do a quarantine and sleepy. go back to work. Huh? I'll see you. I've been in quarantine. Why? I left the. Cause I left the state. And I met with my brother and niece and oh. Claire. So that will, will I got my to COVID test today. They went or I got to go around my nose. Uh huh. Three times. Whoa. It was fun. I don't think I have COVID. Yellowfell did, right? But now yeah. he's not. He he's did okay. in Pennsylvania. He's okay now and he's gonna get a haircut. Yeah. I still haven't gotten a test, but Okay. Alright. Bye. Here's the credit. Bye. 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 Saturday. On TV Channel 22, 11:30 and 2 a.m. Check it out, yeah. YouTube uh, live stream. This is your six three four. Call me Mr. Gun TV. My name is Gun Dot Com. Gun Video Phone. Gun Me. Yeah. Go buy my book too. Gene, buy my book. Little Dowager. You there, Gene? TCTV, the name of Jody Fab, the most sports video, my guitar player, Rebecca, something I call him, no one knows what, this guy wants to do the same thing as you, so you're watching, thank you. Hi, John, call me. Hell yeah, dog. Bye. Bye.